Howdy folks. So today we are going to talk about LMS. So what is an LMS system, you might ask? Well, Wikipedia defines it as a learning management system is a software application for the administration, documentation, tracking, reporting, automation, and delivery of educational courses. So basically what it is, is we're taking all of any sort of online PD or any way to develop yourself as a teacher to help you through either course material or technical skills and we've gathered it into one place and that is going to be in Office 365 and then on top of that it's able to track your progress see what you finished and even give you certificates to show of what you've completed so we're gonna kind of go through today an introduction to this and look at how to access it how to work with it and how to check on your progress Future Ben here with a bit of an update on how to find the LMS since I last recorded. So before we had, you know, email link or bookmark, but now it's been incorporated into the apps of Microsoft 365. So I'm just going to show you right quick how to get it so that you can find it really quickly whenever you need to. So I go into Microsoft 365 and all I need to do is check out on this little waffle up here, the nine dots in a square. We're gonna click on App Launcher. It's not here. So these are the ones that they think you're going to use the most. But if you explore all apps, you'll find that the LMS 365 uh, pops up right there under Admin Selected. So you can click on it through there. You can also check it in all apps and scroll down through their apps and here it is. So that's it. That's just a little update. You no longer need a link to find it. You can find it right through the app section. So this is our LMS landing page. So the first thing you're going to do, so you don't have to like look around and try to find the link every time, is we're going to bookmark it, just so you always have it with you. And for those of you who do not know how to bookmark, we have up here on the search bar, this little star. And that little star says bookmark. So when you do that, it's going to come up LMS Home. And then one really good idea, especially if you're just starting out bookmarking, is you can actually arrange them into folders and organize your bookmarks so you're not looking everywhere. So if you have like, you know, your ELA 12 bookmarks or your Science 10 bookmarks or your etc. Now we have it saved. You can always find it within your bookmarks. Uh, or if you prefer to look through your emails, you may as well. But now that we're here on the LMS page, you're going to see a few things. This is going to become kind of our intranet. It's our, the TCRCE's like go-to place for information for everything you really need. Um, most part beyond like power school and things. So it has your Monday memos. It has staff memos, but down here you'll see it also has a lot of links. So to the TCRCE website, your article 60, your webmail, your employment services, tech work orders, the calendar, even internal job posting. So as this grows, there'll be more and more materials here for you to check out. Um, so it's a very great place to come for all your needs. You'll see there's other links at the top, programs, student services, communications, operations, finance, HR. But for our purposes, we're going to focus on LMS. So we click on it, you're going to see two things come up. We want to see course catalog and my training dashboard. So first let's check out the training dashboard. So when you first come in here, you're not going to see very much because you've never done a course. Now for me, I've finished two courses. I'm working my way through a third. So when we look through here, you'll see total training enrolled three, two are finished. One is planned. Um, so it goes through and kind of gives you a breakdown. It keeps track of like what you started, where you are with it, how many you finished. And then a nice thing is over on the side here, we can look at the specific training. So this is whatever you're enrolled in at the moment. So I'm just going through some Outlook training. So it says in progress. So I can click on it and join back up. Certificates are ones that I have finished. So you'll see here Microsoft 365 Basics, uh, Microsoft Teams. So those are finished and there I have a certificate for those now. So if, if I want to print it off, put it out in my classroom, show off, I got it. 
You can see your transcript as well, showing you when you completed courses. It'll let you know if like maybe a course is expiring or not. These ones won't. And there's even a leaderboard. So if you feel really spicy and you wanna try to get to the top, you can take as many courses and it'll put you at the top of the leaderboard. Uh, I'm not gonna show you it. You can go check it out for yourself, but it's right there under leaderboard. So in order to get things into your training dashboard, you need to start in course catalog. So we click on course catalog and it'll bring us to this landing screen. So the first thing I wanna draw your attention to are the categories on the side. So this is a way for you to kind of limit what you're seeing in case you're overwhelmed by the amount of courses that you see, you see a whole bunch. So say you're like, I want to get really good at Microsoft 365. We seem to be using it more and more and that's kind of the, the direction we're headed. So I'm just going to click on Office 365 and now I have all their training videos around Office 365, whether it's Excel, um, lists and the basics but for our purposes today, we're going to look at the inquiry-based learning. It's so important to understand, um, especially if you're a new teacher moving into it. So let's hop in with module one of the inquiry mindset. So when we see a course here, we're gonna just go down to view course. Now it gives us a description, a brief introduction to the format of Trevor McKenzie's The Inquiry Mindset Professional Development Modules. It gives you an idea of the content, but to take the course, you're going to have to go over to enroll in the course. You'll also receive an email confirmation letting you know that you have enrolled. So we want to hop right into it. So we're going to play the course. Now we're at the overview and you'll see on the side here, um, it kind of gives you an idea of the different sections you're going to be looking at. But to begin it, we're going to go down to the right hand corner in the bottom and say, go to learning items. So then it says, okay, you're about to start. And so we go back down here to start. So now here we've begun the module. It's gonna kind of read through, let you know what it's gonna talk about. And then we go to next. And then if you're ready to start for this video, you hit start. And then you'll kind of move on to the next unit. Uh, etc. So I've started my inquiry based training program, but I w didn't have a chance to finish it because life gets busy. I had other things on the go, but I want to come back the next day and finish it off. It's really easy. I just have to go back into your LMS dashboard through your link or through your bookmark and you'll see it right there on the dashboard. So you can click on it there. It says in progress and then you can continue from where you left off. All right, so it's a great tool. There's lots of great information on there, especially if you're teaching seven, eight, or even if you want an understanding of IBL because it's one of the best practices in teaching. So come on, check it out. Uh, it's really great. Get yourself a certificate, move up that leaderboard. All right, thanks.